Hey guys, it's Sabrina here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting here on this gloomy Wednesday morning hoping to film and upload for you guys on the same day. So I'm in Wisconsin, if you did not know, and there's the wildfires going on right now in Canada. So it's really smoky outside just from all that smoke coming over. So it is a little bit gloomy. My lighting is a little bit different, but we're just going to go ahead and work with it. And I just want to pray and hope that everyone who is currently working on the wildfire in Canada, that they all stay safe. <laughs> but for today's video, as you can see, is I'm doing a book review on the five hour work day. So this is by Stefan Arstall, and he is the CEO and founder of Tower Paddleboard. So it's a stand up paddleboard company. He has been on Shark Tank and he had Mark Cuban as an investor in his business. His business did grow expen exponentially and was in the top 500 company, top 500 companies. And in this book, it really talks about the origin story behind the eight hour workday, its purpose, as well as other additional shifts working 10, 11, 12 hour days, and the longer amount that you work, your productivity as a human being decreases. And then in this book as well, he goes into the five hour workday, the pros of why it works, why he suggests other businesses implement this type of workday. In here, he does explain that he did do this as a trial period for three months so during a summer period for them to have summer hours as well as added a five percent profit sharing really incentivizes the employee to one be productive in the five hours that they're working having that profit sharing so it's really incentivizing that employer for the company to make money so that they can make additional money which i thought was very cool he strategically plans everything in this book, so it completely makes sense. In here, I do have a couple of post-it notes of things that... So there's a, one part of it where they do have a meeting talking about what they're stoked about, which I feel makes the group of people that you're working with creates a more personable environment where something that they're stoked about could be business related or it just could be personally related. So in chapter nine, I do have a post-it note that I'm going to go ahead and just read off this paragraph. It, I feel like it kind of does really do a good job of summarizing. A few days later, I called a company meeting where I announced the following. We are moving to a five hour workday as an experiment for the next three months. We'll also roll out a 5% profit sharing plan between the shorter workday and the 5% profit sharing plan, each of your hourly rates of earning has now nearly doubled. We're shifting away from our focus of revenue growth. We've proven that we can grow quickly and will continue to. Instead, we're now going to focus on having an amazing company culture. We're going to have things like team trips, weekly fun activities, a weekly stoke report, and a daily gratitude blog and everyone on the team would be involved in deciding on these. So it kind of takes away from the, the idea of the profit sharing or company growth is an end all be all. If you have a whole bunch of people who are working efficiently and doing their jobs, the company is gonna grow regardless. So people are gonna be interested in working for your company because of its values and its culture. So them working from eight to one o'clock, that frees up the entire afternoon if they wanna go paddle boarding. And that also ties in with their, their company culture. Other part is the bottom line. By following the lead of Mind Valley and building our values into the company culture, we create, we're creating happiness in people that drives an un- unprecedented amount of productivity. It's important for knowledge workers. Our mental state drives our productivity. If you're happy and healthy, you're going to be able to work better and faster, which I completely agree. Um, and I feel like that's something that 
over time, if you're busting your butt and you're on the go, 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 and you're doing stuff, you're going to get burned out. This book does have 265 pages. I do feel like it was a very good read. It really opens up your perspective if you work in management or if you own your own company. I feel like this is going to be a very well-received approach. Eventually, I feel like we would go to something similar to a five-hour workday. The one thing that I do really like about the five-hour workday is that you wouldn't really need to use like personal time for appointments. You would be able to, if you have children, can pick them up from school, can eat family din dinners earlier at home, enjoy your afternoons and your evenings. I, I, I was able to read it pretty quickly. Um, I do have many, many books that I need to read. I'm challenging myself this year to read 36 books. Um, I did mention it in my mid-year check-in. I'll leave that video down in the comments. So this is a book review number two. That's how I'm keeping myself accountable. So if you like me reviewing books, if you like me chatting about random stuff, please feel free to give this video a like. Feel free to subscribe to my channel as well. And any book recommendations, please let me know. I'm always interested in checking out new books, just grabbing ones that grasp my attention. But that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.